Hello everyone and welcome back. Let us pause for a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time that we're spending with you, God. We pray that you will speak to our hearts and our minds, God. Open up our eyes, our ears, our hearts and our minds to your word that we will draw closer and closer to you, God, that we will be the children you have called us to be. God, we're so thankful for your presence. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. So let's just talk a minute um, here about this question, how to pray, how to pray. And there are some things that we need to do to pray in the right way. And we are reminded in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, with these words, pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. So the first thing we do um, in praying the right way is to pray in the spirit to allow our spirit on the inside of us to speak and commune with God's spirit his Holy Spirit who is also um, on the inside of those of us who have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and the Holy Spirit will um, intercede on our behalf and carry our prayer up to to God so that our prayers can be heard and our prayers can be answered and so that's the first thing is to pray in the spirit the second thing is to know who we are praying to know who you are praying to that's the second thing and we are praying to God Almighty, God the Creator, the Creator of everything in this world, the Creator of everything um, in and on the earth. You, me, the animals, everything. God created everything. And so we are talking to um, God the Heavenly Father, the one who is all knowing, all powerful, all seeing, and who never changes. We are praying to that God, the one who sits high and looks low. And so we need to humble ourselves before him and then talk to him. The next thing we need to do is to be yourself. That's number three, be yourself. You can't be anybody else. And God is not looking for you to be anybody else. He's looking for you to be who you are because remember that God is always looking at our heart and so there's no need in us to try to act like anyone else or use words that others use just be yourself talk to God um, as if you were talking to a good friend of yours that's who God is he is a friend who sticks closer than any brother and so remember um, to be yourself and then next, you need to pray in Jesus' name. Pray in Jesus' name. Scripture reminds us that anything we ask in Jesus' name, if it lines up with God's will for our lives, he will do it for us. And so that is the reason we need to pray in Jesus' name. Because that, who, that is how God moves on our behalf in jesus name because jesus is the righteous one we're not righteous by uh, uh, there's nothing we have done or nothing we can do to be righteous but we are righteous through the blood of jesus christ and so that is why we ask in jesus name because in jesus name god will do what he wants to do and can do and will do in our lives and then we need to believe that's number five believe we have to believe what we are asking for we have to believe what we're asking for we also have to um, believe that jesus that god 
can do anything in our lives. God can do anything but fail. And so we have to believe that <clears throat> if it's God's will for our lives, that he will do it. He promises to do um, what's best for us. He knows what's best for us. He knows what we need, but he still wants us to ask. And after we believe, the six, um, number six is to be bold and be persistent. Be bold. Don't be scary when you are talking to God. Talk to God with boldness and not, not being disrespectful, but boldness, meaning you are sure about this thing you're asking for and you are sure that God can do it. So you're asking him for it and then be persistent. Persistent means to keep checking on it. Keep asking God for it until you see it come to pass, until uh, God has, you see that God has answered your um, prayer request. And you have to be ready for whatever God says, whether he says yes, no, or wait, that is God's answer. And you have to be okay with whatever his answer is because you have to remember God knows everything. He knows the plans he has for our lives <clears throat> and he knows what's best for us. So those are the six things we should do. So let's just review. Number one, pray in the spirit. Number two, know who you are talking to. Number three, be yourself. Number four, ask in Jesus' name. Number five, believe. And number six, be bold, be persistent. And that is how you pray to God. That is how you get your answer to your prayer. And so let us close with the word of prayer. Father God, we thank you that you are great and you're mighty. God, we love you. God, we thank you. God, we thank you for this teaching. Help us to put it into action when we are talking to you. Help us to realize who you are. Help us to believe in you and believe in ourselves. Help us to know that in Jesus' name, you will do it for us. And God, please keep us, guide us, and strengthen us. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen.